far from the United States border, there were protests this weekend. From Miami to Minneapolis, people took to the streets, sometimes alone, sometimes with others. They wanted to send the message that the United States needs a strong, consistent response to tens of thousands of people who are streaming into this country from Central America. James Schaefer was at a protest in South Florida. Too many people are, are saying that the people who want to enforce the borders are, are white racists. Couldn't be further from the truth. You know, uh, it doesn't matter if, if all of these 60,000 or, or, or more uh, ch children immigrants, it doesn't matter if they're eastern white Ukrainians. It doesn't matter. Uh, the law is not being enforced, you know, and, and, and it, it's putting too much of a strain on the, on, on the resources of this country. We have millions, have 91 million not in the workforce, and we have veterans dying for lack of care, and, and this is breaking, this is going to break the United States. Other protesters echoed his thoughts on jobs and the eventual costs for states. Hundreds, if not thousands, of immigrants have been sent from holding areas near the border to states further north, with little more than a notice to appear in court. Governors and many in Congress say the president needs to go find a better solution. I believe we're being given a false um, picture because I don't think everybody is fleeing drug traffickers or gangs or all the other excuses that Obama is giving us, but it sounds good. It sounds like we're trying to help somebody, and in reality, we're not helping anybody. Not helping anybody. The protesters, some of them jobless, some of them nearly hopeless, say they're worried about, of course, the big picture problem of this immigration policy, or lack thereof. How can, the protesters wonder, this country be open to immigrants who follow the rules and obey the law while allowing thousands of others to literally walk over those laws? How can, Joanne Gilliskin asks, America continue to tell its story of hard work and people who work hard if this government's going to play savior to many children and their mothers who have few, if any, skills. At the end of the day, you have to stop and ask yourself, where's the responsibility? The individual is what's going to make or break themselves. Don't come into this country and expect all of us to lift you up and support you all. You can't do that with the whole world. For Watchdog.org, I'm Benjamin Yant.